Right, hi. I wanted to do a little bit of sewing with you today because I haven't done that for a while and I'm so consumed with class. I'm making video, 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 video for class um, that I thought there's no reason why I can't fit a little one in for you. So this is cloth that I create as part of my class. I'm not going to tell you how or whatever. Um, and this that's what this was made with, although I think that's a slightly different colour to that metallic silk tissue and I think they're different colours and um, that's what I did made that with and I'm making pin pillows here for my French expedition so so far I've got bullion loops there bullion loops there I've got gimp there and I'm in the middle of putting French knots on here now last time you saw this I think it was just this bit that was done so since then I mean there's actually chain stitch down there as well I've done another two seams so i'm gonna just do a couple of french knots with you on this bit here just just touch base and that pin i could probably take that out now but that pin is just there to denote my halfway point because i'm gonna get hopefully two um pillows out of this bit so that's why that's there that safety pin so I just need to thread my needle with some cotton broader. I know I'm not very prepared, I should have done this earlier, but there you go. It is what it is. Um, so how is everybody? Have you got snow? We've got snow. People laugh at me because I put it on Facebook, but... I don't like, I love the snow actually, I'm not going to say I don't like the snow, I love the snow, I think it's beautiful and if I didn't have to leave the house I'd be happy for it to snow forever but more importantly if my husband didn't have to go to work which is an 18 mile drive across the West Pennine Moors you maybe get my obsession with snow, it worries me to death anyway, what can you do? Right, so I'll just do some French knots here. So if he didn't have to go to work, it wouldn't bother me a jot. One, two, three. And I'm literally just following here the line of the stitching, of the machine stitching. Um, but I'm doing, I'm not doing them just in a straight line. I'm doing like, what's the word? what the word is, like a meadow and definitely not a straight line sometimes the machine stitch makes this area very thick hence sometimes I pull it very very hard but mostly mostly it's just beautiful beautiful fabric in fact I'm inspired by playing with this now I'm inspired to make some more of this today so I might well do that now I'm going to put beads on this as well at some point so so how many French knots have I done now have you been counting I'm going to London on Thursday morning unexpectedly something to do with my daughter nothing wrong or anything um, just so I can do her a favour with regard to something um, so I'm not going to be here Thursday, Friday or Saturday physically, bodily and I'm going to try and get some posts put together to load up themselves when I'm not here so I wish me luck with that but like a bandit in here. Right, so if I just do another couple, then I've got like now maybe about an inch there. Don't actually know how big that is. Just let me get my tape measure. No, it's only three quarters of an inch. I would have said it was an inch. Um, but never mind. So I'll just do another couple because I don't want to send you to sleep. 
just wanted to touch base really and I know it's a long time since you've had a video um, I mean as if you need to see me doing French knots but then also another consideration with this kind of thing for me is that I show you this again and it may not look any different to you so a video is an opportunity for me to actually show you um, on camera what's different about this you know how it's progressed since last time um, so I'll do one more and then I'll turn off okay I'll bring that through to the front ready for my next one and then I'll pull in and see if it doesn't blur hopefully you'll be able to see it closer so that was what was done last time I think here I love these ringlets these bullion knots the gimp down here and then I'm starting the French knots here. And then I've got maybe one, two, three, four more seams to do after I've done those ones. And then I'll be putting some beads on it. And I need to get a move on because the weeks are flying by. I'm going to be going to France for like one pin pillow and one pocket. So I need to get a shift on. Okay. <laughs> 